Well, we started today off with bone chilling overnight lows and we finished pretty strong, didn't we? Hey, everybody, Scott with meteorologist Justin Keir here. A lot of change on the way over the course of the next seven days. Over at the airport, though, we hit 60 degrees for eye. Hard to believe that we were actually above normal during the afternoon, but early this morning, well below normal, 28 degrees. That was not the coldest location in the Midlands. In fact, other portions of Lexington County dropped into the low 20s early this morning. Now, tonight won't be nearly as cold. It's still going to be chilly, don't get me wrong. We do have some high clouds that are going to be filtering into the state early tomorrow morning. That'll help uh, reduce some of the overnight lows dropping down into the 20s, but no precipitation to go along with those clouds. That's certainly good news. And temperature is already cooling off from that high of 60 degrees in many locations which saw highs in the 50s. Now, one of the coolest spots down in Manning currently at 39 degrees, but generally speaking, our temperatures will be dropping into the mid to upper 30s tonight. And compared to 24 hours ago, some locations 10 to 14 degrees warmer than the same time last night. Our wind speeds coming out of the southwest, bringing with it some slightly warmer air. That certainly helps tonight. And here's what I'm talking about here in the central Midlands. We're talking about overnight lows in the upper 30s. A few cooler spots could be dropping down into the mid 30s. And by tomorrow afternoon, I don't think we'll be quite as warm as what we saw today. We will be right at that seasonal high of about 58 degrees. The other thing to point out about tomorrow is it will be a little bit breezy, particularly if you're on a local waterway. Now, unfortunately, eh, we do have some cooler temperatures in the seven day forecast and even some rain. We'll talk about that coming up later in the show.